Hi there and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Mario and this is Janke. We are going to go up to Chiang Mai. The train comes in about one hour and the trip itself is around five hours. And we are going to take you guys with us on this four day trip. finally made it to our hotel room and if you are thinking about taking trains in Thailand just add at least one or two hours to your trip. We were supposed to leave at 6 this morning but the train only got there at 8. Then the trip should have lasted around 5 hours but it lasted just over 6 hours. So be prepared to sit around and wait. We got off the train and luckily there was a scooter rental place right next to it. It is 350 baht per day to rent the scooter and a 4000 baht deposit for if you damage or crash the scooter. Songkran is busy happening now. It's from the 13th to the 16th of April and that is the Thai New Year. It's like a water festival. So they just splash you with water and it is a ton of people. So I was stressing for all the camera gear because we were on the scooter and it was just in a normal bag. So we stopped next to the road and a vendor gave us a plastic bag just to wrap everything up. Luckily, all the camera gear is fine and still working. We were thinking of going out for dinner, but we are not in the mood to get splashed again because most of our clothes are wet as you can see some are hanging there and most of it is outside so we decided to order on food panda and just get mcdonald's the city where we live does not have a mcdonald's so this will be the first time in a few months and i have been looking forward to it it's currently 10 past 7 and we're going to visit a few places today but before we do that let's go get breakfast welcome to mars oh wait no rewind So we were on our way to a coffee shop and across the street we saw this small temple. Now this is called Wat Phan Sao and the information we got is that it was built in the 14th century. So that is pretty old. It's not very big but it is pretty cool. And the next stop is the coffee shop. If you ever come to Chiang Mai, this is definitely a coffee shop you have to check out. The drink that I got is called the, what is it called? The Orange Planet. And Yanko got the, I think it's called the Nebula and it is 10 out of 10 it is really really good we got tickets to the zoo So if you Google things to do in Chiang Mai, the zoo is one of the things that pops up almost on every web page. So we're going to give it a shot and take you guys with us. So behind me is the city of Chiang Mai and I'm not sure if you can see it and that's because the air pollution here is extremely bad at the moment.
you are going to walk, make sure to bring close shoes like running shoes or something because in flip-flops, not the best idea. Person. And it's definitely worth the money. This place is massive and well maintained. Now it is extremely hot today. It's about 36 degrees, but it feels about like 38. 38. So yeah, remember to bring water. And there's two options. You can either walk or you can use a golf cart, but you do have to pay extra for the golf cart. And we decided to rather walk. Good exercise, but <laughs> Yeah, it is extremely hot. Time to uh, return Yanka to the monkey cage. <laughs> So it took us about three hours to complete everything here at the zoo. We did, however, skip the snow dome and the aquarium is under construction. We are now here at a place called Wat Pratat Doi Sutep. I think I pronounced that correctly, not sure, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, this is about 20 kilometers from Chiang Mai itself. And it's pretty cool. We've got some markets down there, a lot of statues. The road leading up to this place is beautiful and we think it is a must-see location. So make sure if you are in Chiang Mai to visit it. I must say we are pretty tired from the heat, so we decided to get some smoothies. I've got a mango and orange smoothie. This was 60 baht and then a coconut smoothie, which was 50 baht. Time to climb a thousand steps. <laughs> So at the end of all those steps, you pay 30 baht per person, and then you can come inside and see the temples, and also has a viewpoint. just got back from the swimming pool we're just going to order food and stay in tonight and just take it easy tomorrow we have to get up early again and it's going to be a busy day now I wanted to fly the drone over the busy section where Songkran is happening but unfortunately it is a no-fly zone so I couldn't get any shots with the drone Good morning, it's day three now and this morning we had breakfast, pulled up the scooter and now we are about 25 kilometers outside of Chiang Mai doing a six kilometer hike. We met some friendly locals along the way Seems like this route is pretty popular and extremely steep.
We just made it to the peak and I'm going to fly the drone, but I don't think you'll be able to really see anything because the smoke is just so bad. had a pretty successful hike and we found a small village about three kilometers from the starting point of the hike where we got some uh, iced coffee and green tea and then they also sell local coffee beans that they grow in the hills here and they also make their own honey and this is the best honey we've ever tasted so far um, I think it's it's got like this flowery taste to it as well but it's really really good So the hike left us pretty hungry, so time to head back to the city. So Toby's Pizza and Cafe de Oasis is one place and the service and pizza here, 10 out of 10. We would highly recommend it if you are in this area. On the way here to Toby's Pizza, we try to take a shortcut, which uh, isn't tar road, it is a, a dirt road. And it was downhill, like really, really bad. And the brakes on the scooter, the left one never really worked and the right one was okay. But like halfway through that uh, shortcut, the brakes just failed and nothing, nothing worked. So we had to go back because all the way back is uphill and I don't have to use the brakes. So by the time we got to the tar road again, the, the one brake worked again. So luckily we made it. I think we had to go 25 kilometers and it took over an hour, almost hour and a half to get to this place, but at least we made it. So if you do get a scooter rental, make sure everything works. 